Is it time to buy or sell Google stock? In this video, we're delving into Google. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, March 5, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. Don't miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access free price predictions and deep analysis for any one of 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since March 5, 2024, our system has rated Google as a hold slash accumulate, with a score of minus 0.41. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance over this period. The stock has experienced some fluctuations but currently shows a loss of 0% since our initial recommendation of hold slash accumulate. The current three-month trend indicates a potential 4.59% change in the next three months, offering a return between 4.59% and 23.27%. Looking ahead to the 12-month trend, there is a projected 37.29% change over the next year, with a possible return ranging from 37.29% to 63.27%. This equates to a price range of $182.14 to $216.61 by the end of the year. In our latest update on Google, the headline reads, Stronger Technical Forecast for Google Stock Price After Tuesday Trading. On Tuesday, March 5, 2024, the Google stock price dropped by minus 0.510% from $133.35 to $132.67, marking the third consecutive day of decline. Throughout the trading day, the stock ranged from a low of $130.67 to a high of $133.24, experiencing a fluctuation of 1.97%. Over the last 10 days, the price has fallen in six instances, resulting in a total decrease of minus 5.99%. The trading volume decreased by minus 16 million shares on the last day, with a total of 40 million shares exchanged, amounting to approximately $5.30 billion. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price recorded was $153.78, while the lowest was $89.42. Currently, the price stands at 13.73% below the 52-week high, equivalent to $21.11, and 94.58% below the all-time high of $2,448.92 on June 14, 2021. Analyst Ratings Goldman Sachs upgraded Google to a buy with a hold action on Friday, February 9, 2024. William Blair rated Google as outperform with a hold action on Wednesday, January 31, 2024. Citigroup assigned a buy rating to Google with a hold action on Wednesday, January 31, 2024. KeyBank upgraded Google to overweight with a hold action on Monday, January 29, 2024. Barclays also gave Google an overweight rating with a hold action on Monday, January 29, 2024. Analysts have given Google stock a strong buy rating, with the P-E ratio and price to book also receiving a strong buy evaluation. Additionally, the return on investment for this stock has been rated as strong by by analysts. Analyzing Google Signals Currently, there are limited positive technical signals for Google. The stock shows sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a negative outlook. Additionally, the relation between these signals suggests a general sell trend. Resistance can be expected at $136.35 and $143.56, with potential buy signals upon breaking these levels. A recent sell signal was triggered on Monday, January 29, 2024, resulting in a minus 13.58% decline. Further downside is anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Moreover, a sell signal is in place from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. 
Despite volume decreasing alongside price, overall risk is reduced as volume typically follows price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 26 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 1 day ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 8 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 14 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 11 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 16 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 8 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 69 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Google. Google currently finds support from accumulated volume at $132.60. This level could present a buying opportunity as we might see an upwards reaction when the support is tested. The stock typically has average movements throughout the day, and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. Over the last day, the stock moved $2.58 between its high and low, which is 1.97% of its value. Looking back at the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 1.99%. Before discussing potential trading levels for Google, let's review some key fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio, compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. This P-E ratio is typical for established businesses with consistent revenues. In addition, the upcoming Q1 2024 earnings report is scheduled for April 23, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $1.49, and these figures can significantly impact stock prices. Now, let's delve into the potential day trading levels for Google. In an upward trend, the initial resistance level for Google stands at $133.35. If you're not currently holding any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before considering a position. For existing stockholders, this could be a key level for swing trading. Conversely, Google faces its primary support level at $132.60 on the downside. Should this support hold, it could serve as a strategic entry point, with a potential rebound in mind. The combined average rating for Google from multiple analyst sources is a strong buy. Let's examine some recent insider trades. On January 17, 2024, Pichai Sundar sold 3,488 shares of Class C capital stock. On January 17, 2024, Pichai Sundar sold 15,323 shares of Class C capital stock. On January 17, 2024, Pichai Sundar sold 3,689 shares of Class C capital stock. On March 14, 2023, Hennessy John L. bought 3,580 shares of Class C capital stock. On January 11, 2024, Hennessy John L. sold 2,400 shares of Class C capital stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power ratio is calculated to be negative at minus 10.910. In the last 100 trades, insiders purchased 1,458,265 shares and sold 1,820,044 shares. Our recommended stop loss is set at $124.98, representing a decrease of 5.8%. This stock exhibits moderate daily fluctuations, translating to a moderate level of risk. A sell signal was identified from a pivot top recorded 25 days ago. Is Google stock a good buy? Google currently shows negative signals, making it a potential sell candidate. However, there is a chance for a turnaround, so it could also be considered a hold candidate while waiting for further developments. Our analysis has been updated from a sell to a hold slash accumulate recommendation. After evaluating the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued.
Looking ahead to trading on Wednesday, March 6, we anticipate Google to open lower by dash dollar 0.478 at $132.19. It's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of financial loss, so it's always wise to consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Please be cautious and do not solely rely on stockinvest.us for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and take responsibility for your own investment actions. Presenting our current analysis of the stock. Share your agreement or disagreement in the comments below. What target have you set for this stock? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Wishing you successful trading and a wonderful day from all of us at Stock Invest.